What's going on, nation? Today is Friday, August 1st, and this is your SHF Weekly Update. And today's actually also my sister Diana's birthday, so be sure to leave her a happy birthday message in the comment section below. I'll make sure she goes by and sees this video because I'm sure it will make her day to see a bunch of you guys wishing her a happy birthday. So I have a bunch of stuff I want to talk to you guys about. The first thing is I want to talk to you about scottherbanfitness.com and I want to thank a lot of you who are going from Facebook to the website and posting your questions in the forums. If you haven't been to scottherbanfitness.com yet, yes there's a paid version of the site but the majority of everything there is free and you can make a free profile and once you make a profile it's basically its own social media platform where you log in, you update your stats, you have a photo, you have videos, you have your own board, you can, you can make friends with people, leave comments on their profile, you can access and leave comments on all the articles and the recipes that are on the website and most importantly you can go to the forums and post your questions there. You can start your own threads and you can interact with myself as well as the many other Hermanites that are already there interacting with each other and answering questions. There's a lot of really knowledgeable people there. If you want to try the platinum version of the site, you can try it for one month free with the promo code FREEFITNESS and that gives you access to all of the exercises and all the routines and the meal plan system for one month free. And all of the exercises and routines, they come with write-ups as well as photos and they're all organized by body part and beginner and intermediate and advanced categories. And you can actually even, once you pick the exercises and routines you like, you can add those to your profile and then print out your routine to bring it with you to the gym. It's a really interactive site. If you haven't been there, make sure you check it out. And the main reason why I really want you guys to go to the site too is when you ask questions on Facebook, unless I actually sit down and continuously just go back to every single post and try to see who left the response, I generally miss if you guys ask more questions. Like maybe you ask a quick question and I give you a, a response and maybe I don't totally answer your question because I didn't have enough I didn't have enough information. If you go to the website and you post in the forums and you ask a question and you post a new thread, if you if I leave you first of all if I leave you a message, you'll get a notification to your profile and if you check the box in the account settings, you'll get an email notification too. But as soon as you respond, I also get the email notification and I can go back to that thread and make sure your questions are getting answered. So it makes it much easier for me to keep track of you guys because that's what this is all about. Scott Herman Fitness, yeah, it might be my name, but it's really about the community and I like helping you guys and I want to make sure I'm always giving you the most amount of attention that I can when there's like a million of you. So <laughs> it's hard. It's like having all these kids trying to equal out all the attention, but I like it. That's why I do it. That's what keeps me going. So if you haven't made a free profile yet, please go check it out. You're going to absolutely love it. And I'm going to be having a new app coming out soon. That's going to make it so much easier if you guys interact with each other on your phones as well. It's awesome. That's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, also actually I have one more thing. If you've noticed, I've been hosting a lot of content from community members and there's a big change coming to the website soon within the next probably two to three weeks but basically I'm going to be reaching out more to you guys. There's a lot of you out there who leave me questions uh, in the comment section of the videos asking me, hey Scott, you know, how can I get started in the industry? How, can I, how should I do YouTube videos? How should I, what should I do to get my name out there? If you've noticed, I've been posting articles and recipes and workouts from various community members and on every single um, piece of information that I post, I always give back links. So it helps you boost your social media or helps you get some exposure. And you can also go into the forums and you can post a new thread like, hey, check out my new back workout. And then you can actually embed the YouTube video there. So if people watch the video, they'll know which channel it's coming from. They can subscribe to your channel. So if you're interested in having your content hosted on scotthermanfitness.com, click this link right here. I'll put all the information you need to get into contact with me and I can give you guys the basic structured layout of how to present your, your information. And just to give you a quick um, example, here's an article from Kevin Boone and it's about how to do a, it's, uh, it's an article and video on how to do a planche. And what I can do is actually host videos and photos within my articles to maximize the amount of exposure. So if you're going to take the time to write out something great and do a video about it, 
it's gonna look something like this. So be sure to check that out. And once again, click right here, there's an annotation right here, click on that, and it'll bring you to a, a forum thread explaining how to have your content hosted. Now on to the Expendables videos. You guys have already seen the first two that have been released. We had Courageous But Insane, and then this week I released lots of cuts, carve up your core. And as you guys can see, each video is a little different, okay? They're not all gonna be based on the same style of training. In fact, the next one is gonna be a really intense video. It's coming out on Monday. But the lots of cuts, if you guys tried this video, you saw the dragon flags that were in there. It's a super hard exercise. Obviously, it was inspired by Sylvester Stallone and his Rocky movie when he was doing the dragon flags. He didn't go down all the way with his, but I mean, it's essentially the same movement. And we also put a modifier in there so you can build the core strength that you need to be able to do the exercise on your own. But when we film these videos, you know, we, we shoot from multiple angles and we do like eight to 10 reps per angle to make sure we have the right footage. So I did a lot more reps than you saw in this video. And this is, it was a hard, I had to take like a lot of rest in between these shots to get it, to get it just right and my abs for like an entire week, I had to always go like this and stretch as much as I could because they just felt like they were a big clump of just broken down muscle, you know? So if you guys have tried it, you know what I'm talking about. We have another video dropping on Monday and I also am going to be doing a special prize pack giveaway for this video coming out on Monday. I'm gonna be giving away Expendables 1, Expendables 2, and you guys saw the official t-shirt that Thomas and I are wearing in the videos, and you'll get that as well. Now, I haven't quite decided what the contest is gonna be, so I decided that I would do something like this. I want you to leave a comment in the comment section below of your idea as, as to what the contest should be on Monday. And if I happen to use your idea, you'll automatically win this prize pack and then whoever wins the actual contest will win one as well. So I thought that'd be a pretty cool way to get you guys engaged and just to kind of share some ideas on what could be fun. So make sure you leave those comments in the comment section below. The Saturday Exercise Explosion, check them out. I posted last week, I did a couple of videos. I did chest, four sets in one, high volume burn sets for growth. Now obviously this is a tribute to my original videos, the My Workout series that I did where I'm doing a lot of burn sets and basically I just wanted to show you guys that since doing my, my muscle jeans video, which you, I'll post a link to it over here if you guys haven't seen it yet, you know, I learned a lot about my body and I learned that in the beginning when I was doing all the high volume stuff, that was actually what I should have been doing to get the most results. And I feel like I kind of wasted the last year because I started doing more heavier lifts and focusing on that and I didn't really make much growth and I actually feel like my strength even went down a little bit because I wasn't really utilizing you know, my strength, which is the high volume. That's where I actually build more strength. So I wanted to post this video to show you guys what I've been doing. I was finally able to get myself back up to the 105, so my first set, and then I drop it down three or four times. Yes, I put my weights away when I was done, and then I actually do this on the first set of every single exercise that I perform. And then sets two and three are just one set of eight to 10 repetitions. So you don't have to do the burn set on the next two sets of your exercise. So if you haven't seen that yet, be sure to check it out over here. And then I, last week I also released an exercise called the spider curl. And I'll post a link to that over here as well. Now the spider curl is an amazing exercise to really target your bicep. What it does is it doesn't allow any other muscles to engage to curl the bar. When you do a standard preacher curl, you're still kind of sitting at an angle, so it's really easy to lean into the exercise or let your shoulders roll forward and then use that to help you bring the bar up. When you do the spider curl, you don't have a choice. Your body is completely vertical and you have to rely solely on your biceps to bring the bar all the way up and then bring it all the way down. And you're gonna notice that if you haven't done this exercise before, when you get to the top of the movement, it's gonna feel like your biceps are cramping up and it gets to be pretty tough. So if you feel that, you're doing it right. Make sure you're fully extending. This is a really great exercise I like to use as a finisher on my bicep workouts because you don't need much weight to do it. And if you're already fatigued, you still don't even need as much weight. And it just isolates the bicep so well, if there's anything left in the tank, it'll be gone by the time you're done this exercise. And the last two things, so I've made a decision. For those of you who have been around since the beginning, you've known that I have another YouTube channel and it's been stale for a while. It's just, 
you know, life's been crazy with all the traveling and moving into my home and everything else. I kind of let that channel not, I didn't let it die. I didn't take, I didn't take it down, but I really haven't been uploading videos to it. And it's called Oh The Hermanity. And I basically was posting like more vloggish type, type videos there, gaming videos, car videos. And what I decided that I was going to do is start to turn that channel more into a, a gaming channel. So I still might upload vlogs to it and other fun things, but the majority of the videos are going to be a gaming videos because I miss gaming. Gaming is a huge part of my life. I've been a gamer since I was a little kid. For those of you who have seen some of my other videos, or for those of you who've met me in real life, you know, we talk about all kinds of stuff, whether it's animation or gaming or anything like that. And I just, I miss it. It's like a, it's like a part of my life has been missing because I don't game as much as I used to. So I thought, hey, what better way to get into gaming than to post up cool videos on my old humanity channel as well. And then with the coming out of Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U, I already pre-ordered mine. And I'm sure if you're a Smash fan like me, you've pre-ordered yours. I thought it'd be really cool to start challenging you guys who are also gamers and then hosting the video footage here. Even if I lose, which won't happen, I'll still host the video footage, but I just thought it would be a really cool way to take something that I'm passionate about and be able to engage you guys more and hang out and have fun. So, all the Hermanity, more gaming videos coming soon. I just uh, filmed them with my brother Chris playing Super Smash for the N64, getting ready for the release of the Wii U version, and it was some pretty intense battles. You guys are gonna have a lot of fun watching those. Hopefully I'll get those up this weekend. And then last but not least, I did a, a video of a walkthrough of our home. Erica and I thought it'd be really cool. We had a lot of footage that we had been saving from move-in day when the house was like a mess. And it was pretty intense. Um, if you guys did watch the video, you'll, you'll find this out. But basically, we moved into the house and the very next day we got hit with like three feet of snow. We had no food, I had no shovel, like we didn't have anything. And we had to go out in this madness and try to get to Walmart to get food and groceries and a shovel and some bare necessities that we needed. And then we, we show all that in the video in the beginning. It was pretty intense. Some of you guys asked why there was snow in July. And then I guess that I saw comments later from the same people being like, oh, never mind," because then they realized it was a six month transformation. That was six months ago in January. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun going through the house and I have been posting a lot of um, exclusive videos on scotthermanfitness.com. I'll post a link to that over here. And I have some of the other projects I've been doing in the house. And the next project on the list is actually building Erica's closet, which you guys will see in the walkthrough video where it's going to be going. And I almost wasn't gonna be able to start it this week because the charger for the batteries on my camera died. Like it just completely died and all my batteries were dead. And I was like, oh my God, how am I even gonna film my update this week? And then I always use this charger. So how like when you get into a habit, you just kind of forget things. So I always use that one charger because it charges two batteries at once. I totally forgot that I still had the power, the original power packs that just plug directly into the camera and charge the battery that way. So kind of dumb on my end, but it looks like Erica's gonna have her, her room started this week after all. So that's your SHF weekly update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any contest ideas for the Expendables 3 workout coming out on Monday, and I'll be sure to check them out in the comment section below. Have a great weekend, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.